How to draw a car. Um, this one, this method of drawing a car uses a grid. Really, a grid is the grid that we use here is two squares side by side to form a rectangle, which is actually uh, effectively two squares long. It can be done rough hand, rough uh, freehand, as I'm doing here. Um, I think this works out so that the squares are slightly taller, actually, the more rectangular. So straight away I know that the car I'm going to draw will be a short, stubby car. Obviously, if you want to make a sports car, you'd make the grid a little bit narrower from top to bottom. But um, anyway, this is how we do it. Start on the center at the bottom half here, draw a large circle so it touches the halfway line. And half the rear box like this, the rear square, and draw another like ellipse. Okay, now we're going to put the car body in here. We need to cut across that circle as I've as I started up there, and um, I'm just thinking about the front here. I'm going to go, yeah, do the roof line approximately. I'm going to drop it short of the top, so um, windscreen's going in the waistline here. Um, push put the roof in. I could drop this down if I wanted to. Could make it taller. Just right in at the back, tight in at the back. Um, put the wheel thickness in, the tyre thickness rather, that always seems to make the drawing look a little bit better, so I'll just shade this in black and we'll put the one at the front that you can't see, um, as an arch like this, little building arch. Um, let's see, put, a, yeah, put the logo at the front of the car with the lines going from the corners of the windscreen to the logo, put a lamp in here, put a lamp right on the edge at the other side. Uh, yes, I'm going to bring this down a bit, I think. Yeah, so bring it down a bit. And it's looking like um, a car shape. Now, that's the car body coming around the wheel. Put a bit of a grill in here. Going to consider perhaps looking at the wheel details uh, in a sec. Yeah, here we go. So, um, just put some little black circles in. Make these look like um, holes in an alloy wheel. So here we go. The wheel's a bit big, but um, you can you can mess about with the grid a little bit to get it more in proportion. Um, yeah, okay. It looks like the wheel is turning into a corner. Put some reflection reflection thin lines on here like this to indicate um, it's a shiny metal surface. Same at the back. So some more holes and um, just work on this a little bit. Yeah, and I'll just put a bit more waste waistline on there. Consider possibly um, where the window is going to finish. Just get a rough idea, fill that in. Yeah, I've got the B column drawn in roughly there, but I think I'm going to go over the B column. Lots of cars now have that B column blacked in. Yeah, so let's go over that. Um, yeah, okay, it's not far off. That's about it, really. You can spend more time on it if you like, colouring it in. Which, in fact, I think we'll do in a, in a minute. Uh, it's always uh, important as well to make sure you draw the car low enough. Um, lots of people have the bottom of the car almost on the centre line of the wheels. Well, if you look at cars, you know you, you very you very rarely see a high a car which is high off the ground. So draw it quite low to the ground. Yeah, that looks okay. So I think um, that's about it. So let's just go and put some colour on. Right, so here's the car. I've just brought it uh, inside, so just put some colour on and just get comfortable. I hope you can see that. And here I've put some colour on. This is zooming in, trying to give you an idea of what it looks like. Yeah, and that's it uh, with a bit of colour on. You must imagine that the grid I've left drawn on, um, you would rub the grid out. It would have been done in light um, pencil. You could have rubbed the grid out. And it's quite nice to cut these shapes out once you've, you've painted them. And uh, 
stick them onto some different coloured card. That looks very effective. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. <clears throat> how to do a car, how to draw a car. Nice and simple. Use a grid system. Alter the grid to make it taller or lower for the different type of car. And uh, it's nice to show the wheel turning in at the front there. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it.